Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, aka Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. Uh, these conversations are meant to be a behind the scenes look at everything that content creators handles on their journey from hardware to software to mental to ups and downs. It's a guy behind the scenes and I hope you enjoy. My next guest, always lozing, 31-year-old disabled gamer with two pups, Kuma and Cora, who are the real stars of the channel. She is 5-1 on a good day with over 1,000 varieties of witch cackle. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. I'm keeping that. With that being said, I'd like to introduce my guest to the podcast, always lozing, aka Asha. How are you doing tonight? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Good. I, I'm doing well today. First and foremost, I want to take this time to thank you for being the first guest to do this show twice because of technical difficulties. Ooh. So thank you for doing this again. It is it is the second time, but everyone yeah. thinks it's the first. So like we're just yeah, you know what? it out like that. Movie magic, except for it's a podcast. So Asha, how have you been? What are you up to in your content nowadays? Lots of Final Fantasy for no reason. I, there is zero reason why my channel is filled with Final Fantasy right now. But Final Fantasy 14 online, finishing Final Fantasy 16. Okay. And then decided to start from Final Fantasy 1 <laughs> and play all of the Final Fantasies. It, with, of, of course, a few exceptions. Like, we're not playing 10-2 because I think it's... Wait, can I cuss on this again? I can't. Yeah, remember. yeah, it's unfiltered. Oh, okay. You could definitely. Oh yeah, that's, go ahead. Yeah, you know, but okay. So ten two is ass. Uh, Eleven is another online MMO, and I there's no way I can't justify it. Um, well, we'll see. You, you I know. Could be my house up not they sleep. I, I know, know, right? And then thirteen doesn't exist because it's also ass. Exactly. Oh, that doesn't. God. That didn't happen. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. And like fifteen. I, I I played like seven times. I don't think I can do it again. I don't think I can bring myself to do it again. That's fair. That makes sense. You know, it's an I don't think anybody expects you to. So you're good. Nothing wrong with 15. Just I just can't do it. I can't do it again. And then Baldur's Gate is out. So it looks like Ooh. Baldur's Gate is going to be taken over when 16 is done. So hold on. We got all of Final Fantasy, basically. Oh, and then God. Baldur's Gate, which is a beast in itself. It is. I have never played a Baldur's Gate, though. It was gifted to me. I didn't know it was D&D. &D. That's mm -hmm, why I lost mm -hmm. it. I did not know it was D&D. &D. And I was mad because I spent almost $80 on a six-month subscription for 14 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then somebody told me after the fact that it was D&D. &D, and I was like, I what? <laughs> I love D&D. &D. And so then I got it gifted to me. And so did Boss, which is... Oh, did he now? Oh, he didn't tell you. You know what? No, no. You, I knew that because okay. I saw his character. Okay. I saw his character, so I forgot. My bad. A, oh, the halfling named Asha? Oh, no. I didn't see that one. I saw his clown one. Oh. Oh, go ahead and take a peek on Twitter next time you got some downtime. He made a halfling. Okay. Named Walsing. Of course he did. <laughs> of course That's he did. Good Lord. Well, you know what? With that being said, because I am very interested in this <laughs> to answer to this next question. What is your current mindset in regards to your content right now? I don't even, you know, probably just, I think the same answer as before is just kind of staying sane. Nice. Okay. You know, the world is burning. Everything's fine, I guess. So we're just going to keep chugging along and, and try to keep our sanity. But like, I also want to grow. I feel like I, I, I definitely want to make this something because my mom was the one that pushed me to be a streamer. Mm -hmm. And uh, after my second brain surgery, she was like, just just buy what you need to and just say, fuck it. And I was like, okay, because I, I got a huge bonus from my job, from my old job before I left. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a couple thousand. And I was like, I was like, what do, what do we want to use this for? We should probably just put it in savings. She's like, well, why don't you just buy what you need to to stream and just say fuck it and i was like all right and that's awesome that's when i did but and she wanted me to be successful because she she liked seeing how happy i was doing streaming because in real life a lot of my real life friends did not play video games did not right 
like D and D and stuff like that. So to find my own little corner of the internet that people can gather and have the same interests I do, like made me way happier than I realized. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so my mom was like, no, you need to keep doing this. You can't quit. Like you're doing really well. Like we would go over analytics. My mom would be in my chat every time. That's awesome. Trolling and being a, an absolute, she's a troll. She is. I mean, to this day, like she's passed, but she's still a troll. And she still trolls me, I swear. But <laughs> stuff like that where I would I, I wanna I wanna be successful because my mom thought I could be successful. And that's I wanna try to make it as that, even though, you know, being disabled is really a struggle mentally all on its own. It's mm-hmm. nice to have something that you can do and that you are able to control and like have a community that understands like if you're having a bad day, you're having a bad day. And like, exactly. Yeah. You can't stream and like, or you're not in the mindset or anything. And like, even if you are having a bad day, they'll read you like a book anyways, but you know, (laughs) it's nice to be able to talk about it and like be able to have other people that understand or help you through that. And then on top of that, like, I wasn't allowed to be outspoken at all at my old Mm. job. And we had that, that presented a problem for me, but I tried to keep my mouth shut as best as I could, but it's really nice not having to do that. (laughs) That is true. Like you have the freedom because it's your content and you get to choose what goes up and what doesn't. Yeah. Like you have the, you set your own rules and your own comfortability. And like, if someone's doing some fuck shit like that's it like out get out like Mm -hmm. that is your boundaries and what you stand for what you respect and how you want others to be treated like it's so nice to be able to or to know that there's a safe place somewhere for someone and like people happen to choose me and like to have that faith in me that i will keep that keep it that way that yeah i couldn't said it any better like knowing that there's a spot for you and people like you to just go chill and relax is very very appreciated and important especially nowadays it's funny you mentioned that you keep your space safe and that's on you like this is my community i don't fuck like no fuck shit's happening because i've started to like use things that i do (laughs) this is gonna sound weird but stick with me here (laughs) I started to use tactics that I use during stream, like in the real world. Like if someone yes. comes in stream that I don't really jive with, I'm just, it's a straight up, no, no, we're not going to play Apex together. Or no, I don't need any help right now. I'm very direct. And I noticed myself in the real world, in real life, for the longest, I was very passive when it came mm-hmm. to like mm-hmm. saying no. And like nowadays, like that has changed a lot. And I think I, I contribute that to streaming and having to deal with people in chat because you're you're faced with randoms at every point during your streaming career. So you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, no, I would agree because like I have, I have people that I specifically mod for because that like they are, they feel like they're too passive and they're working on it actively, but that sometimes it escapes them. So instead it's, it's, there's me who's like, no, that's awesome. Like we're not doing that. I mean, my job I was lo- I was a loss prevention manager and I was salaried and like mm-hmm. I I got away with a lot more than what you would think in a corporate job because like you wouldn't <laughs> I, w- I don't want to say you don't have to be nice but you don't and like there's mean, a true. yeah like if somebody you know talks to a, an associate sideways like I can I can tell them to get out mm-hmm. like it was and I didn't have to need like be nice about it or anything like that and I think. I've always been a type of person that like holds their ground and I'm, I'm not afraid of confrontation, but that's ex- been exacerbated due to streaming. And like, yes. I don't have a problem with it because, you know, there's obviously a fine line of being disrespectful and then like holding your ground, of course. But mm-hmm. um, when it comes to people on the internet, like they're out of pocket all the time and like <laughs> they don't know how to act and they sure wouldn't act like that in person right. most of the time. Uh, that's true yeah so like it's it's helped really like shape those kind of rules that i have and i don't have many 
but you know the world and stuff so like mm -hmm. you're not surprised that people tend to break those uh, habitually <laughs> <laughs> yes and if you let them they will continue to do so oh absolutely they'll like you give them an inch they'll go at least three miles into, into a, another person's stream that you know too or that you associate with yeah and like the best part about i think i get a shit eating grin is that like they'll do it in my stream and they'll go to somebody else's and i mod for them mm. and it's like well that's unfortunate <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're awesome. already done here <laughs> but <laughs> we've already been here that is hilarious. You know what? Speak, we've been talking about it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and slip into our next section, which is lessons learned. Less lessons have you learned through your content career? And I think mine is off top, just to still shine for a quick, um, <laughs> is <laughs> like, like, talk, like speaking up for myself and actually yeah. being a little more aggressive when it comes to people in the real world. Because just like people in the internet, if you just show that you are going to stand up for yourself nine times out of 10, those people are going to back down. Yep. Because they're like, oh, ooh, okay, let me, let, he's actually going to say something. Let me uh, shut up. Yeah. A lot of people in the real world will not do the kind of shit that they try to pull on the internet for sure. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, it's the same thing like with like, I would say, don't sacrifice your, what you stand for, or what you believe in to get a sub or to get another follower. Like it's not worth yeah. it. It is yeah. not worth it. Don't do it. Do not don't let somebody cross their like your boundaries because they got you a game or they're somewhat fun to play with sometimes or like don't don't do that don't do any of that it's not worth any of it and there's a lot of advice out there and i think i said this last time too where it's like it can be overwhelming and some of it can be wrong uh mm -hmm. because everybody is different so like a lot of people were like you need to pick one game and just grind that and it's like ah, ah, fuck no like <laughs> like i can't just play one game for six hours for four days like i would rather spoon out my eyeballs i'm not doing that you probably get like, more views too yeah i probably would yeah and they're like well that's how you grow and then when you get big enough you can just do whatever you want and it's like no and they're like yeah but variety you grow so much slower and it's like okay Mm -hmm. Great. I think one thing that they leave out of uh, that conversation is if you do pick one game and play that game forever, there's a, some games have certain communities attached with them. So mm -hmm. they have, they, they come with a certain piece of liability. And so when you switch games, you're going to feel that like you might yeah. be big enough to like, it's not going to hit you hard, but you're still going to feel that. Oh yeah. You can see it with some of the top streamers that like, no, like apex for instance yes you know, if they play apex on a regular basis and like they switch to something else they're at half their viewership mm -hmm. so it's like it's not gonna you know it's it's you feel that regardless that like you play what you want to play because people are attracted to how much fun you're having and like a conversation you can carry about the game or that can segue into learning about that follower or community member and like about yourself and like you you play whatever you want don't pe let people tell you what you can and cannot play exactly. um you do what makes you happy because happiness and having a good time is what brings in people not i mean yes what you're playing as well because initially people would be like oh like what game is this or like i've been looking at this game and i'm really curious like what are your thoughts like yes you do get some natural foot traffic to your channel, but like, mm -hmm. if that's something that you're having fun playing, then play it. Like, don't don't feel like you have to do one game, and exactly, don't feel like you have to be the best either, because you don't. I'm awful at Apex, and I actually <laughs> had, had some pretty high numbers. I'm very impressed before I uninstalled it. Like, hey, you know why? It's because you're having fun when you're playing Apex yeah. and you might rage a little bit and that might be fun to watch. But you know. uh, I, I did rage a little bit, but it was more like a fun rage and not like. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean, like, you know, just kind of maybe maybe it was your fault. Maybe it wasn't, but it probably was your fault. But you're going to pretend that it wasn't type of thing. Mm -hmm. and, but mm -hmm. like, no, it's your fault. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, like no, nah, no, nah, that wasn't. I, I heal. I was healing. That's. I was don't worry yeah, about that. No, I had full shields. What do you mean? 
<laughs> he was one. I swear to God. He's totally <laughs> hacking. And you will find toxic people everywhere. Don't be intimidated about what game to play. Like, if you want to play Dark Souls, like, just make oh, the ground rules. Yes. Don't, exactly. don't backseat. And you backseat, you're out. And exactly. boundaries. Like, you know, if you're going to be disrespectful, get out. Like, that's, mm-hmm. you know, don't ever hesitate. I will say a cheat code for if you play a Dark Souls game and you don't mind people backseating, like let them backseat because people love to help. And even if you don't yes. take the advice, like read it and be like, oh yeah, that, that sounds dope. And just like don't do it because that's what I did for Bloodborne and that shit was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's a great idea. It doesn't do it. And you're yeah, like, and they forget. They totally yes. forget. But you read their comment and you said they name out loud and that's all they really wanted. Like yeah. they wanted to be seen and heard. I'm like, they, and like, I and there are communities out there that will help you without spoiling. Fourteen is a prime example. If you're that a sprout true. in Final Fantasy fourteen, oh my lord! Like the joy that that community has to help somebody else without spoiling the story, and like just like teaching you things that you might not like know. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, that the kindest community I've ever been in my entire life but that is awesome it's it's games like that that will uh, i can't say anything about wow never played it but like Mm, 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 no i'm i've heard (laughs) (laughs) but like it's it there are games out there that like people other streamers will go on their off days and look for people that are like starting a new game that's something as long as that and be like do you want some help (laughs) that is awesome yeah yeah Man, i didn't realize that that's cool oh my gosh yeah i half of like half of the people that are now like pretty in depth into my community half of them are mm-hmm. from four, 14 from two years that's ago awesome. when we started i love that it's great it's wonderful And you've been switching games and they and, stick with yeah, you see and they, and they have stuck with me i've i've switched a lot of games because mm-hmm. i also have adhd and it's unmedicated so um i have switched quite a few games and it's not all been final fantasy assassin's creed god of war i mean if it's an rpg you name it i probably played it Mm -hmm. and a lot of people have stuck around since three years ago when i started that's awesome because Osh is a dope ass streamer and it's entertaining you're getting laughs you're getting to see a game you probably never seen before like this is what makes I think makes a good rail rounded like variety streamer. Like, yeah, you switch games all the time, but are you still the same person throughout those same games? So. Yeah, exactly. And that's why it's like I am because I'm having fun and I love the games that I do play. So it's like Exactly. You know, and if I'm not feeling high energy and like I'm I'm having a really low energy day, like 14, Satisfactory, Valheim, like I could name so many games that like I could just be like, it's a low energy energy day in my title, and like everybody's super chill. Nice, I love that. Everybody is, yeah. And my chat goes dead sometimes too on those days. And like, don't psych yourself out. Don't mm-hmm. focus on those numbers in real time. Only focus on them when you need them for business decisions. Like exactly. That's all I can say. All right, so we kind of we kind of spliced our lessons learned and words of advice together because i think sometimes they are one and the same but i think some of those things that we learned are also really good words of advice i'm gonna do this though we're gonna i'm gonna definitively we're gonna give someone who is looking to start content or been doing it and they they want to go further this is my uh definitive words of advice no I'm just playing <laughs> we're gonna drop one of them <laughs> right here for them just so just in case they weren't paying attention they skipping through the podcast I mean, like, I just want advice. mine would be quick and simple if you are thinking about starting just start like go in there figure out what you need real quick that you already have don't go buy nothing just start and see what it feels like because the first like four or five ten streams ain't really gonna be what you end up doing those are just like your let me get my feet wet let me try to define my my stream define my voice and you're trying to figure all that out so don't fret it too much just start and then you will figure it out figure out the stuff you need to along the way yes i would agree i would agree with that actually i think mine my definitive is that plus consistency 
consistency is is like it sounds so overrated. I know that anyone who is thinking about starting streaming, I'm sure you've done your research enough to know that like everyone has said that. Um, but I can tell you with certainty, the consistency part is what helps you. And like your community knows if they want to see you, they will know your schedule. When you start, you know, what days you start and stuff like that. And they will show up because I've had people in my chat and I am offline and it's like they don't pay attention to like Twitter or Discord. Mm -hmm. And they're like, where are you? And I'm like, bro, I had like a seizure last night i'm in bed what do you mean <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> i'm not streaming today like they will they will they will show up because they want to they want to see you or they want to hang out or they just mm -hmm. you know stuff like that and like the one other thing would be like if you don't feel like having an end time don't have a start time you don't have to put an end time why yeah true because then you got flexibility you can end early or you can end later or you can like that is totally open ended. So like I, on my schedule, Wednesday through Saturdays, 6 p.m. PST start time and no end time. That's smart. I didn't even know you could put at end time. Like, why would you do that? You can. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know why you would either. Like, don't do that because then like y you always end up staying on later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I promise mm -hmm. you. You always end up staying on later and and you're like one more mission or like one more round or whatever. And then yes. it's like three in the morning and you're like, well, shit, you know, it's just uh, yeah. end time. <laughs> I think I should be responsible and go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, don't put an end time. It'll save you right. a lot of less stress. It's, it's exactly. Time. Well, with that being said, we have reached our last section of the podcast. This is the call to action, because if you make content of any kind, you should have a call to action at the end of whatever the thing you are doing. Um, so I'm making everybody do one. And I'm, uh, I'm going to let uh, Asha go first because it's my podcast and I don't have. To. That is true. That's valid. Um, I'm on Twitch and always mm -hmm. lolzing. Twitch.tv always lolzing. I stream Wednesday through Saturdays, 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST, till whenever, obviously. Mm -hmm. I am on TikTok and YouTube. I am not good at posting on YouTube or TikTok at all. Mm -hmm. Mostly, mostly Twitch. Nice. Bravo. There you have it. Uh, yes. Go over to Twitch and uh, check out Always Lawsing. Uh, I'm going to do my uh, call to action real quick. If you know any other creators, streamers, YouTubers, TikTokers who you think would benefit from a conversation like this and many more, not only on uh, Apple iTunes and uh, I don't even think it's called Apple iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts or Spotify, share this with them. Let them know that this exists. And if you are already subscribed there, go ahead and leave me uh, uh, some feedback and like, yo, I like this part. I don't like when you do this More of this, please. And we'll see if uh, I make those changes. Lazing, thank you for doing two shows with me. Uh, yeah. This one looks to be uh, recording well. It looks like it's up to 99% uploaded. Yeah, I think we're going to be good on this one. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, as long as some weird audio stuff doesn't happen, knock on wood, but you know, <laughs> we're here. Exactly, exactly. But uh, again, thank you all for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. Protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.